Well, good evening from a freezing cold night here in Beijing. It's minus 13, and tonight we are going on our most exciting food journey yet. We are about to try Beijing's best roast duck. Super excited to try this. To be honest, this restaurant looks like the nicest place I have ever eaten in. So let's go on inside and see what awaits us. And so we are meeting our friend Lou, who was in our last video in Beijing. He's told us this is the best place to come if we want to try a good duck. So let's get on upstairs. You've seen all the awards on the wall there, so it's obviously a very good place. Not something we usually do. Yeah. <laughs> so the menu is an actual book. Look at all these awards. Yeah. Yep. So Lou has brought us to the best. So we are completely overwhelmed by this menu. You turn the page, you go, oh, I want that. You turn the page again, you're like, oh, I want that. So we're leaving it in the hands of Lou, who is going to order for us. Blue Ghetto, so we have a, a Hong Kong beer to try tonight. Lovely. Okay, I don't think I have ever in my life been so excited to eat something. This is absolute torture because I am so hungry and it's in front of us and I can't eat it yet. Oh. Oh my goodness. Isn't that the most perfect thing you've ever saw? So this is the dip, the duck skin. And apparently if you dip it in the sugar it is enhance the flavour. Enhances the flavour. Wow. Oh my goodness, it's like double layer crispy, <laughs> soft in the middle. It doesn't even taste like skin, it tastes like meat. Oh, what do we have now? It's a barbecue lamb. Barbecue lamb. So, we're going to try the barbecue lamb. Wow, the colour of this. Right, here we go. It smells very savoury. Oh. 
Yeah. The lamb is unbelievably tender. It's like a really savoury, savoury sauce over that. And the nice crunchy vegetables and onions are also a little bit crunchy. That is absolutely phenomenal. Shani, you're going to try a bit of duck breast? Okay. Alright, so you eat the duck by itself first. Then you okay. Make the meat. Okay. I think you pick uh, the part with the skin. The bottom? Yeah, with the skin, with the skin and the meat. Like this oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's the breast? This is like, I don't know which part. <laughs> okay. So this is, there's like two different uh, layers of meat, so there's one without the skin, and then the top layer has the skin on top, so first up I'm going to try the skin layer. Oh. Wow. You good? I've never tasted duck that actually is so tender. Usually it's got a bit of a, a bite to it, but that completely melts in your mouth. And then you've got like the sticky sweet texture of the skin on top. My <laughs> God! <laughs> the dipping with the face. Yeah, that's a bean face. I like to make my pancake pretty big. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah, just put more meat. And the most classic one is just cucumber yeah. and uh, onions. But now it's like they give you this garlic paste and a little bit of garlic. Cake. So just put it in and you wrap it up. And you eat. Right, I devote the first one to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, the pancake is so soft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All in a water? <laughs> Every single thing about that is absolutely perfect. The texture of the meat, it's so soft and juicy. And that paste. Oh my god. I can't believe how soft the pancakes are. You're gonna hate me for this, but most of the time when I've had duck and pancakes, it's been in the microwave at home. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, on another level. Wow, this is this is like the best thing I've ever eaten. I think this is crazy. <laughs> uh, and the waiter is gonna show you the three proper ways how to eat. Okay. Oh really? Okay. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> Yeah. The first way is the skin with it. Yeah. That's a We show you the third way. Garlic paste. Then we add the onion and garlic. 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 So this is the second way that you can eat the, the duck and pancake. I loved eating this as a child when I went to the Chinese restaurant with my family but that is like on another level. The sauce is so thick and sticky. Mm. So I've got the third method and this is going to be a little bit different because there's pickled radish and there's lots of other kind of soury flavours in it. Mm. Mm. Completely different. You get that sort of tanginess coming in from the pickled radish. That's fantastic. Completely different from the other two. 
I didn't think there was going to be so much of a change. Yeah. Well, you can taste the garlic now. Or you can make your own. Yeah. You can, you can design your own. The garlic's coming now, yeah. That is, that is incredible. What do you prefer? Mm. The one you made me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now, I think we better eat, because yes. we'll look at all this food. And this is uh, the fried uh, meatball. It's fried a Beijing meatball. specialty. Okay. And that's uh, their dipping sauce. So the tomato sauce and the, the paste, the bean paste, and the uh, salt and pepper. Okay. I think, I think the salt and pepper are the most traditional one. Yeah. Can try this. Try the salt, uh, salt and pepper first. The salt and pepper is more of like a familiar taste for us. So what's in these meatballs? Pork. Pork. That's very nice. That's... I can't pinpoint what the flavour from this salt and pepper is. Mm. It's a very kind of sweet peppery taste. Yeah, it's not like um, you know, that kind of dark, I don't know, spicy pepper. It's more sweet and tangy and very salty as well. I can feel the salt on my lips. I'll try the different sauce. Yeah, I'll go for this one. Kind of looks like popcorn chicken. Oh wow. The sauce that I chose is so rich. Really? It's even more richer than the one that we've got with the duck. But it kind of works because it's really crispy and so soft on the inside. Mixes it all together in your mouth, it's delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so these are salt and pepper duck bones. Interesting. Yeah. Nothing goes to waste. I like it. The service in here is incredible. They actually just went to all that effort to meet, um, to be able to let us to take a picture of all the food together on the table, and now they're going to take the fish away and debone it. Unreal. The food just keeps coming and coming and coming. Over here, we actually have jellyfish and cabbage. So everything else on the table is hot and this is cold. And it's actually a nice refreshing break. It's quite easy. I'm have a vinaigrette dressing on it. It's a little bit sour, but that's really nice. It's a completely different flavour and texture and obviously a different temperature to everything else we have. It's nice and refreshing. The skin on the outside of this fish is almost crunchy, it's that crispy. And this fluffy flesh in the middle is just so soft. But that's not even the best bit. It's this dressing. Now, it's vinegar and sugar, and it's almost like sticky glaze. It does have like a honey taste to it. And sort of caramelly. Yeah, oh, that is... I'm going to say this is the best fish I've ever had. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you did tell us this would be the best. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so typically I prefer fish to be a steam. Yeah. Yeah. This, one, like, this is your whole specialty. It's called uh, the fried sweet and vinegar and uh, yellow fish. Yeah. Uh, so, it's very good. This is crazy good. Looks so soft in the middle. Yeah. Like, so soft. They literally just kill the fish. And, yeah. <laughs> deep so deep fry it. Deep fried, yeah. I'm amazed by that. It's the skin. It's crunchy and chewy because that is very crispy, but this glaze is just seeped in. So it's that perfect way between really crispy but also nice and soft. And then the inside is just out of this world. It's so fluffy in the middle. I'm sorry, but... I've actually already tried a bit. <laughs> <laughs>
That's just incredible. It almost doesn't even taste like fish. Yeah. Because sometimes fish can be a bit bland and boring, yeah. but this is like really impressive <laughs> that they've managed to get this flavour from a fish. Oh, wow. I love that so much. So we're getting creative now. We're using all the condiments, all the meat on the table to fill these pancakes. So first up, I'm going to dip it in the sweet and sticky sauce. And then we've got the meat on this bone here. Look at this skin. Can you hear that? Wow. Did you hear that? Yep. <laughs> it's almost crunchy the skin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my hands. Yeah. I hope no one's offended. Okay. And then what else am I going for? Some sauce. Oh everything. Onion. Uh, more onion. How about a garlic as well? Garlic? Okay. Add some garlic. Let's wrap it up. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> There's a crossover work, the two sauces. Getting from the, the leg is so crispy. You can get the char flavour, can't you? I'm so true. Yeah, so I'll finish off for Shannon. Um, <laughs> what she's trying to say is the crossover with the two sauces works absolutely perfectly, but I don't think she's ever going to get it out. Thank you, Anna. This is actually called the Rolling Donkey. It's a very interesting name because donkeys like to roll about on the grass. And you can see here, there's like a chocolate powder on top. And that is like to represent the mud. So it's very creative, isn't it? See, it's rolled. Yeah, it's thinly rolled. I wonder what the filling is. It's like, I wonder if that is tofu. It's very nutty. Yeah. Oh, it's very nutty actually. It's very light. It is a nice treat to finish off all of this food that we actually ate all of. <laughs> Uh, that's where they make the really? Yeah. I think. Uh, that's the that's oven. Oh, in here? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that is probably the best meal I have ever had in my life. Shannon, is that the best thing you've ever eaten? That was the best meal of my whole life. I'm not even joking. Every single thing I put in my mouth is unreal. Yeah. Man, the food here in China has just been out of this world. Lou, thank you so much. My pleasure, man. Our best friend in China. We'll be back. Absolute we'll be legend. Have a wonderful trip tomorrow to the Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's been so nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you.